I don't know how you feel about your baby orcs, but I love the baby orcs. Days the bestest. Ah, uh, yes, I watched Rings of Power, the first three episodes, so that you wouldn't have to torture yourself through it. We're going to go through some of it. I'm going to review just my initial thoughts. And uh, I'm not going to make this a real long one. I don't think I'm going to rehash the entire plot. I'm just going to check through some articles, see where people stand on this thing, and finally address the biggest controversy. Well, the tiniest controversy. The little bundle of joy orcs, ish. I love me some baby orcs. So, yes, the first three episodes is... Hmm... Uh, they follow a lot of the characters I don't care about. There's a lot of unlikable characters. They killed off main characters off screen, which is always fun. And uh, a bunch of coincidences around characters that end up together. And it's basically about making some rangs. We're going to make them rangs power. And we're going to do some good things with the rings. And there's, there's a lot of debate over whether or not the lore matches. And don't get me wrong, I, I have read Lord of the Rings many times. I probably read the Similarian like maybe twice. I am not King Lore of Lord of the Rings. But I keep finding myself looking up things to be like, that doesn't seem right to me. And some of it is and some of it isn't. But it's it's like they read a line and then they took a lot of uh, leeway with it, right? So you're getting stuff that's kind of lore accurate, but not really because they put their own spin on it. But essentially, all the characters seem like villains, and they all kind of deserve it. And I still don't understand why Sauron, they're not making him that evil. And so far, he <laughs> he's supposed to be like the king of lies and, and, and twisting people to his will. And as of right now, he kind of, so far, he's at a point. So I don't really get what's going on here. But let's check in. Fascinating. Um... Eric Kane, who I have checked in with several times, writer for Forbes. Yes, he maybe he's a bigger Tolkien fan. Not bigger, whatever. Maybe he studied it more than me. I will say it's just more of the same, you know, and there's just like the scenes have no connective tissue and 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 there's directing moments that are unclear and they're trying to show things but i just don't think that they really understand the world they're just taking the shell of the world and different lines and things so as he says here it's uh it's a patchwork a clumsy but f grand frankenstein's monster of a show and I don't care enough about any of the characters to even... The only character who seems like he's doing anything right is Elrond Hubbard. So, at least the Scientologists are, are pleased. Uh, what's funny, too, is is this is... Uh, Eric, he wrote... On the day before the debut... He wrote his article about the review. He's, uh, season 2 debuts the truly shocking review scores because some of them have gone up, Right? And I, I don't know what's going on here. I, I feel like there's less interest. So there's not nearly as many people checking in. So it, it could because the fan scores went up, but I just don't think people care. There's just not enough people tuning in. They clearly dropped three at a time. They, they dropped the first three episodes to get more of that view time to hope that they would get the people who are really sucked in to go. But the pacing is just so terrible. There'll be one action scene and then 40 minutes of nothing and caring about like just people I don't care about. I don't care about the new Minorians. I just, none of it. So the big thing that's going on it's just weird because on one side of the debate you get people like oh it's doing better because the scores the scores have gone up but there's less people paying attention to it i haven't heard a single person other than a bunch of youtubers who were like this is terrible and uh, you know there's guys who are more tolkien scholars than i am like just some guy who's real mad 
about all the, you know, he's saying that's lore breaking. I'm just like, I could barely even understand the story in and of itself versus how it's different from Tolkien's story. So I don't even know where they're coming from on half of it, where it's like, okay, I get the idea that they're making rings and they're supposed to do something, but Galadriel's barely been in it, so like clearly they hate her. They're trying to do more with the Numenorians and Isildur, and I'm just like, I don't even know what's going on. So after three episodes, we ch we just check in with people who are, hey, I'm doing a thing, and then there's coincidentally, I'm gonna meet another guy to do another thing, and then eventually we'll make some rings. But the biggest controversy that has come out so far, people are seemingly, there's Reddit threads about it, they're big mad about <laughs> baby orcs. <laughs> and you know what? Orcs gotta come from somewhere. I, I think what's shocking to people is if they watched The Lord of the Rings, they're used to seeing how the orakai were kind of just birthed out of these like chambers. So they're thinking like, oh, orcs aren't, they they don't have a culture. They're not a thing. They're just these prefabricated monsters that are born out of these weird shells that just do things, and nobody really, you know, there's no backstory to it. But according to what I've read, it does seem like the orcs had a culture, and they were tied to Sauron, and he tricked them by saying that the humans and the Numenorean, all those people, would just murder them on sight. So he was master manipulator, manipulating everybody. So people are big mad about baby orcs. And it's like literally one scene. You get the slightest little look. And what I think they're trying to do is establish in their mind motivation for some of the characters and what they're doing. But I just feel like there's a lot of key jangling too. Like there's ants and it's like, ooh, look, there's ants because ants. I, it doesn't even, like, even the, the Numenorians coming down to help save Middle-earth only to get blasted in the face by Mount Doom with a volcano. Like, none of it, ultimately, none of it makes any sense from a plot perspective other than they're there to make some rings. And then there's going to be, you know, one ring to bind them all, but nobody seems to care about that. And there was an orc mother who was seen carrying her baby in his pretty jolting sight. They're claiming, though, that orcs... Um, it's 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 uh that the orcs being born from the earth was an invention of Peter Jackson. Now, what I'm thinking is that maybe Peter Jackson was saying that the orakai were bred out of the ground because Sauron used magic, right? Versus Tolkien wrote about it in the Silmar uh, Silmarillion. Orcs had life and multiplied after the manner of the children of Iluvatar. Since the children of Iluvatar are elves and men, this indicates that orcs breed and gave birth to babies. Now, I never really went into any detail, but I think from one line, maybe that makes sense. And I I don't know why people are so pissed about it. Like, I, I don't care that much. But <laughs> Lord of the Rings fans are horrified by it. Did they mention exactly where... Peter Jackson, what he did. No, I guess they did. And, and you know, Peter Jackson was literally just using Lord of the Rings. Um, and they're say, I guess they're saying that the orcs were twisted. Is It's a letter from J.R.R. Tolkien, letter 153. He has this whole letter here where he's trying to explain his position. So you can check it out. Again, this is Orc U. We're an Orc channel. So we're going to support Orc rights. If they want to breed, more power to them. Um, but I think... <laughs> I just don't... It just, <laughs> it's just funny. Of all the things to get mad about, like the stuff that I get mad about is like the poor directing and, and things like... Uh, they never set up that Elrond was mad about the rings. They never set up that anybody even knows. They showed you that nobody knew except for Galadriel, that uh, Halfrim was Sauron. But she never told anybody, and nobody else knew about it. They, they established that in the show. But then he's, they're not supposed to talk to him. But why? Like, there's just no reason for certain things that happen. So, I don't know. Just interesting. But the show's not worth your time. It's incredibly boring. 
it's the the, the not the sets are fine it, it the the some of the things still look cheap like the 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 soldiers outfits or like the armor and like the elf armor just looks cheap the wigs look cheap the elves are supposed to be beautiful and they look like normal people i just none of that stuff works you know when you see the elves in peter jackson's lord of the rings they're like ethereal and they're all like these like beautiful god you know children of god whatever you want to call them right but in this there's just like regular dudes with weird pointy ears and freaky looking faces and the dwarves literally have no role there's like no point other than let's give them some rings they're not engaged in anything so we'll see i guess i'll keep writing or i'll keep reading keep reading keep watching the season so we can review it together we can talk about it this is episodes one through three and i didn't want to break down the plot because it's really just it's about making them rings baby let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you watching this? Are you interested? Do you want me to torture you with actual, like, describing what the plot looks like? If you want plot breakdowns, I could do that. I really just wanted to talk about Orc Babies. But it is what it is. Thank you so much for listening. Do appreciate it. Love all y'all. But I'm on to the next one. Thanks for catching the video. Be sure to join our channel to get the education you deserve. Make sure you check out our shorts, live streams, and catch us on all the socials. Don't forget to like and subscribe.